What's going on YouTube? Here's my 2020 Model 3 Performance. I've had it for about a year and a half. Today I have something special. We're gonna do a real world zero to 60 test. I just recently bought a draggy. We're then gonna throw my car into the motor matchup drag race simulator and we're gonna do some analysis on the results. Without further ado, here's the zero to 60 run. As you can see, I got a 3.250 to 60, which comes out to 3.06 with one foot rail subtracted. Let's look at this in the drag race simulator and let's break this down a bit more. So on the top of your screen here, you can see the motor matchup drag race simulator. And in the bottom right, you can see the drag run I just showed you. Both races are synced up and I pause it at one second and I'm gonna keep pausing it at different intervals to show you what's going on. So at one second, the car's pulling about 0.87 Gs. On the draggy, it's reading 0.8, but it doesn't have that second decimal place. We're doing about 20 miles an hour. The car says 21, the draggy says 20, and the simulator says 19 in this shot. I've set the state of charge to 96%, which matches the real life conditions. We're pulling about 63 kilowatts out of the front motor and 97 out of the rear motor. The motors are spinning at the same RPM of 2194. We're making peak torque here around 500 foot pounds. Let's resume this race and keep going. Here at two seconds, we can see we've already gone past the 30 mile an hour mark, sitting at around 40 miles an hour. We have 40 miles an hour on the car, 39 on the draggy, 38 on the simulator. We're making more power in the front and rear motors. We're still very close to the peak torque, although right about now is when it's going to start dropping. Let's keep going. Here at the three second mark, we're just under 60 miles an hour. We're at peak power, but torque is starting to drop off. So we're now down to 417 total foot pounds of torque. As you can see on the simulator, we're making 378 kilowatts total. We're still pulling hard at 0.7 Gs. Let's see how we finish out the 60 run. I'm letting the simulation run out the full quarter mile. I wasn't able to do this in real life. I'm not trying to get a speeding ticket or go to jail. I need to find some better roads to go faster. The times are extremely accurate. We can see we're getting 3.06 seconds on the simulator and the draggy with one foot rail subtracted. If you like this video and learned something, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you're curious how this simulator works, it's all physics based. So it's taking into account the torque curve of the car air resistance, rolling resistance, and it's using those physics equations to come up with a final result and show you an actual real-time drag race. If you wanna check out my car and set up some drag races with it, you can for free on motormatchup.com. I'll put a link in the description. I hope to do some really cool videos in the future with the draggy. Hopefully I can get my hands on some different cars. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.